Right, good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. I am in my dad's garage today because we're working on the trike again. Um, managed again to salvage a load of different parts for the trike uh, over, what is it, the month or two that we haven't been working on it. We've got a bunch of different parts here to install and some new tools as well to install them with. Um, we're just gonna take the day as we come, as we usually do. We're just gonna start working on the trike. Uh, the first thing I think we're gonna tackle today is the axles, as you guys will probably remember, um, the axle seals need replacing and also we have a new hub for this side because of the uh, dodgy stud that we've got on this side. We have managed to source some new axles. These are for a, for, what did we search for? Ford Escort or Ford Cortina or something? Was it? No, Capri, Escort. wasn't it? Escort or Capri is what these are for. Uh, we managed to source two. These were like the only ones on eBay, but we managed to find them. So they've got bearings on them already, um, but to go with them, we also picked up some brand new seals. Um, for this as well. And that is the first thing we're going to start with. Um, obviously the seals are going to need to be replaced so they're going to need taking out the old ones and that is where this tool is going to come in hopefully. Um, it's a slide hammer with a bunch of different attachments um, so hopefully somewhere in here we'll be able to find something that's going to be able to remove the old seals um, and then we're going to have to find something to put the new seals in with. Um, so I guess that's first thing. First things first though, dad put the wheels back on to be able to move the trike um, around the garage so we're going to take the wheels back off get the old axles out and uh, get the seals changed where's the actual force stud we take it out last time or was it inside the drum seal i think we removed it didn't we before we yeah that's all right <laughs> So this, can you hold the light real quick? Well, I just film the seal. So the seal's not too far in. It's this thing right here. You can see the number on it. That's how we knew which seal to get. I just sort of copied that number. So I'm going to figure out a way to get that out now. It shouldn't be too bad, but it is pressed in, isn't it? I have to try and find one of those tools that's going to work. Yeah. Do you want to compare lug for lug on this thing? Oh, what the axle? Yeah, that's probably a good idea actually. One of them. I guess they're both the same, are they both sides? Well, that's a good question. I guess they are identical, aren't they? Are they left and right? Are they the same length and everything? They've got the same on the end of the shaft and everything like that? That one looks like it's got a slightly different chamfer on the end. See? It's like slightly different. Right, so about 10 minutes into working on the trike, we have already come across our first issue, and it's quite a big issue as well. Um, we took the old axle out, as you would have seen, and we wanted to compare it to the new axle because it's always good to compare parts when you take new parts off and put new parts in. Um, and straight away we noticed that the... I've just now put black on my nose, I've just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> my, my hands are filthy. I'm alright, I think I got it. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, uh, the new axle is actually 10mm longer, roughly, um, than the old axle. Not only is it 10mm longer, but the bearing on it is also fatter um, and also the studs are fatter. The studs doesn't really matter too much but I will quickly just show you this one here is the old one the one closest to me as you can see they're sitting flush this end but this end that one's about 10 mil maybe a bit more longer they're the same spline pattern and stuff however the bearings are also this is the old one and you see the bearings probably about 15 mil and then the bearing on this one is probably about 20 mil so um, that's not going to work in the axle that we have. So, we've got a bit of an issue. The uh, seals are the same, so we'll probably end up doing the seals anyway. But the wheel bearings that my dad got to replace them are also different. These are, these are bigger, um, probably about the same size as these ones. They're actually bigger than those ones a little bit. So the, these bearings are wrong, the axle is wrong, um, and we don't really know where to go from here. I think we're going to end up doing the seals just because they, we got the right ones and we can do them. And then we're gonna to need to figure out what we're gonna do about the axle situation. It's all the old bearing grease, isn't it? Man? Yeah. So this is the contraption that we've come up with to try and get the seal out. We've got a, a three jaw puller in here with the jaws obviously facing out on the inside of the seal. You can see it's in there. 
I'm gonna use a slide hammer and try and tap it out. That's kind of the only option we've really got to get this out, so we're gonna hope that this is gonna work. I'll film, you can do the honors. I don't think it's gonna be an out of tight anyway. Me through. I think so. Oh, actually, that might actually spread it out a bit, if you keep going. Looking at it, that might be long enough. All right, go ahead when you're ready. Come on. Hey, good stuff. Well done. Something's you got it out. Something's gone right today. Yeah. Yeah, we have it there out. There you go. It's a bit. You can see it a bit. The camera will focus. A bit on the inside of those pieces of metal. That done a good job actually, didn't it? it did. Right, so we've got the old seal out, as you've just seen, um, but we're not gonna be putting the new one in just yet for two reasons. We're not in a rush today because the axle is not gonna be going back in. And also we haven't really got a good enough tool to put the new seal in. Uh, this is the new seal here. And ideally what you want is like a large socket or something to sit on it. However, this is the biggest socket we've got and it doesn't quite sit close enough to the edge to make us happy. Um, there's a chance if we hammered it in with this that we'd like damage the seal or bend the metal or something. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna get a special tool or a larger socket or something like that to actually put the seal in properly. Um, so that can wait. It's not really an issue of not putting it in because like I said, the axle's not going in today anyway. Um, so that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and get the other one out though. So we're gonna disassemble this side, take the wheel off, get the seal out of this side um, just so it's all ready and clean for when we do get the seal tool and when we get the right axles for this trike as well. Yeah, true. Tipping it up on its side. You just, I just don't know if it's meant to sort of be a seal which is good for splashes or good for Full. oil tight, you know, yeah. complete the oil tight. Yep. Pleased with that? Pleased with that the tool wasn't a waste of investment? No, that's good. Slide hammer's always good to have as well. I, I don't know what like we would have done without it, so that no, was definitely It worth. was quite in there, wasn't it? You wouldn't have done that with just hands. That wasn't super expensive. No. Well, as you can see, it's a, it is a cheap one, cheap yeah. Chinese one. But, uh, yeah, good enough. So this seal you see right here, which is the side that we've just done, this was the whole reason that we actually touched any of the whole rear axle because we, we had it jacked up on the other side to do some work on that side um, and the oil actually leaked past this seal and out of the wheel. That was the whole point. And then we said to ourselves that we were gonna um, investigate and see if the seal was bad. Now, the seal doesn't look that bad. It looks quite bad now, but that's because we've just had that three jaw puller on it, pulling that out. But before that, there didn't really look like there was anything particularly wrong with it. Um, but we're gonna replace them anyway, and obviously we will um, go from there. But this was the main culprit of this whole saga with the rear axle. Are yours the same as mine? Are they? Uh, I assume 32. 32. 36, 33? I don't know then. Couldn't uh, tell you what they meant to be. Do you wanna Google it? Just to see what tire pressure is meant to be. Yeah. So as I'm at my dad, you know the Mondeos are here together. Side by side. A load of you want to see the Mondeos together. Um, the ST and the Gear X. I've got my dad just pumping my tires up at the minute. He's just down there. Checking the tires, make sure they're alright. There you go. I want to get a good picture from Instagram as well, but this is a thumbnail. That's the one that the garage did yesterday. Yeah. Well, that measures 36 on here. I've left it, but... Look how filthy the car is as well. Look at that. Oh my God. It's disgusting. Right, so we're back in the garage now after lunch. 
and uh, whilst we were having lunch we did a little bit of research on this whole axle situation because as you know the axles that we had are shorter than the axles that we um, sourced to go in today um, turns out that they're about sort of 15 mil maybe just a little bit less shorter than the um, ones that we bought the ones that we got are 13 mil shorter than the ones we bought and it turns out that the ones that we bought are for a, a Mark II Escort because that's what this axle, that's what we thought this axle was. Turns out that this axle and the half shafts, are f the ones we need, are from a Mark I Cortina. Um, and so they're sort of slightly shorter, the bearings are slightly smaller as well. And we've managed to find one on eBay, it's the only one on eBay, um, but it is a bid. So we've put in a bid. Um, hopefully we'll win it. I'll let you know later on this evening because uh, it finishes in about six hours, I think. Um, hopefully we win that and if we do, then we will have the two shafts we need um, to get them back in. So all is well in that front. So we're going to leave the axle situation for now. We're going to put that to bed for right now until we know whether we've won this other axle or not. And we're going to concentrate on the front brakes because uh, there's a bunch of stuff. They need basically rebuilding um, and putting back on the trike. So. That is what we're going to do now. We're going to rebuild the calipers, put all the pistons back in, seals, all that stuff, um, so we can get them back on the trike. So this mound of parts right here is should be everything that we need to rebuild these calipers. You can see that's what they look like. Dad's friend at work managed to get the old cylinders out because they were seized in there. We tried to get them out ourselves, but they wouldn't come out. Got all the new cylinders here, all the new seals and whatnot in these bags over here and we're just going to sort of pick our way at these and just try and change out all the bits we need. We've got all the old seals in there to change, all the seals around here to change, all, so all sorts of new bits. These should be like brand new calipers in the end. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if I caught that on camera. <laughs> just flew across. Well, they are pretty manky aren't they them? They've definitely seen better days. I guess it's the, like the brake fluid that eats away at them, isn't it, and stuff? I guess so. Uh, and dirt. I mean, it looks quite good. There's a quite a big chunk. I don't know if it's stuck or not, but there is quite a big chunk in that. I don't know, it might just be, um, it might have been loose, but... Right, so we are still rebuilding the calipers. We're still on the first one at the minute. Um, we've replaced the seals inside where the piston is gonna sit, right here. Uh, we cleaned them out with a pick. There was a lot of corrosion and um, nastiness, so we got a pick, cleaned out where the grooves were, greased up them seals, and they are now in there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and now stick in the new pistons. Are these brand new ones, or are these made? Yeah, made. These, these were made by um, someone at Dad's work. He made them to um, spec, as they should be. So we're going to grease them up, stick them in, and then we're going to finish up by putting in the bleed nipple and sticking the banjo bolt back in, but hopefully these shall fit nicely. These uh, look quite nice considering they've been made by hand on a lathe. Oh, mm. movement. Oh. Hey, nice one. Oh, 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 she went in. That weren't too bad, was it? No, I, I thought you were going to do a lot more force than that. Right, so that is one fully built caliper. I know it looks a bit rough because we haven't painted or anything, but that has got all new brake pads, um, new seals and everything like that. So that is one done. Uh, we're gonna do the other one, but obviously we won't film any of it. That's the reason we didn't film much of actually rebuilding this one, because it's a little bit tedious and a little bit boring and it's not really something people wanna watch unless you wanna do it yourself. So we could probably could do the rest off camera. Um, it's taken, what, how long do you reckon that took? Probably an hour and a half or something just to get that one done. It's because it's really tedious and you have to make it all perfect. But there we go, that's one. Right, so we've got both calipers um, completely rebuilt now, all new seals, brake pads, everything like that. They're ready to go on, apart from they are gonna get a quick coat of paint. My dad's gonna hit them with some black paint just to get rid of the grubbiness because there's lots of chips and whatnot in them. Um, but they're ready to go on now, apart from a little bit of paint. And once they're mounted on, then we can plumb them all up with the rest of the pipes. Um, there's not a lot left in the kit, so there's just some washers left for the banjo bolts that will go to these. 
and a couple of seals for the handles. Is that for the clutch then, one of them? Why have they given you two? Yeah. I don't know what they're for. But yeah, there we go. That's the brakes all assembled, nice fresh pads. We did have a bit of a kerfuffle, I will update you. that We had a kerfuffle with one of the pistons wouldn't seat properly. Um, one of them was like sticking out three or four mil and the other one was nice and flat. So we just took it out and put it back in and it seems to have gone flat again. Not sure what happened, but they're all in there, all sitting nicely. So I'm now actually editing the video that you are now watching. And I realized I didn't do an outro while I was at my dad's, so I'm gonna quickly do it now. However, this is not the end of the video. Um, my dad actually plays in a band. I don't think I've ever mentioned that in the videos before. Um, but I went to watch him the other night, got a few clips, um, so I'm gonna stick them at the end of the video. If you wanna see my dad in action on the drums, keep on watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.